Good morning, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. In today's video, we are going to be playing the Vintage Club Golf Course here in Bangkok, Thailand. It is also going to be our final round of golf during our trip here in Thailand, so I am really excited. We've been waking up super early. It is currently just after 7 a.m. and we are about ready to head over to the golf course. Gotta beat that Bangkok traffic in the mornings and then we have a slightly earlier tea time. The only thing is, after noon, after about 12 p.m., the sun sun gets really beaming hot and it's really easy to get heat exhaustion which we did for a few days prior to today. The golf course does get a lot busier, it is high season and so there's a lot of people on the golf course and you do have to wait a bit on each hole and that means you'll be under the sun a little bit more. So let's see how today goes but I'm really happy that it is our last round and I'm excited to check out the golf course, I've never been there. Just arrived at the golf course, the clubhouse and the locker rooms are both super nice. They have a photo of the new Thai girl, I can't pronounce her name, but her. I'm guessing she played this golf course, so I am so excited. Everything seems really nice so far. I forgot my hat. Today we're just gonna put sunscreen on our face and sit in the cart as much as possible. Hole number one is a straightforward open par 4 320 yards from the white tees. When we teed off, there was a group of junior golfers behind us with two coaches. They all had matching shirts. I wonder if this golf course is a training location for junior competitive golfers. It is a great golf course for practicing because it's not too difficult but has enough challenges to make it enjoyable and not frustrating, if you know what I mean. Hole number two is a short par three with water down the left up to the green. As we've seen with other golf courses in Bangkok, Thailand, there is usually a yardage sign on the tee marker indicating the distance to the pin for the day. Very convenient. Hole number three, par four, 359 yards. There is a water pond to carry off the tee, and then the hole continues straight forward after that. The other courses in Thailand have way more hazards and are much longer. This was the easiest golf course we played in Thailand. So I had 150 there, the pin is back, but the greens here are really small. So hit my 6-iron and I am on the back of the green here. Camera cut out here, I didn't make the part but so it's a bogey. Hole number 4 is the first par 5, 475 yards. Again, there is water to deal with off the tee and then the hole continues straight ahead. The caddy so kindly let me use her extra hat, but the brim was so big, I couldn't see very much. That is why this hole was a mess. Caddy gave me her extra hat. She was wearing two hats for some reason, um, which was so, so nice of her, but I am not used to playing golf with this much of my peripheral vision covered. It's just weird to swing because I can't see half of as much as I normally do. After this hole, I wore the hat in between shots and then took it off during the shots. To be honest, my caddy was so sweet, as are most of the caddies in Thailand. She was asking me what my age was, where I come from, and all of that. We had so much fun with our matching hats. Moving on, hole number 5 is a par 4, 335 yards. This hole has water all down the right side. The fairway is pretty wide off your tee shot, and then narrows down as the water comes into play for your approach shot into the green.
there was some ground under repair which is a free drop if you hit it inside. Hole number 6 is a longer par 4, 382 yards. This is the most difficult hole on the golf course. It's funny because on other golf courses in Thailand, I would be relieved at a par 4 under 400 yards, and this hole would have been the easiest. But here we are back to reality. This one is a dogleg left wide open with a few bunkers to deal with. shaped like this but it actually breaks left to right hole number seven is the second par five on the front nine playing 492 yards there are some random bushes to go over off the tee and then the fairway opens up for your second shot and then water comes into play on the right side up to the green Hole number 8, par 3, playing 144 yards that day. This hole is surrounded by water, but as you can see, there is still quite a bit of dry land to work with. Hole number 9 is a short par 4, 330 yards. There is a water creek on the left for the first half of the fairway and then a beautiful approach shot into the green with lots of water on the right. There's two groups backed up on 10. We're gonna skip ahead to 17, 18, and then come back and play 10. For the sake of keeping track of my shots and video clips, we will go in the order we played, starting with 17, 18, and then going back to 10. Hole number 17 is a par four, 359 yards, slight dog leg right. Off the tee, there is water on the right, but shouldn't be a problem as it ends about 100 yards out. Hole number 18 is a long par 4, 385 yards. The water creek cuts across the tee deck and then continues up the right side of the fairway to the green.
back to number 10. Each of us drinks one of those 1.5 liter bottles of water that we get at 7-Eleven. It's pretty, pretty cheap, but you definitely need to drink that much water. For reference, I am not super big. I'm maybe like 50 kilos. I drink 1.5 liters of water and another drink, maybe a Gatorade or a tea, and I don't have to pee once because of how much I'm just sweating on the golf course. Anyways, we're on hole number 10 now. We just played 17 and 18, so now we're gonna play 10 to 16. Back to hole number 10, par 5, 470 yards, dog leg right. Very interesting hole with two lines of bunkers dividing the fairway. I successfully entered one of them just to show you guys. Water appears on the second half of the hole up the left side. I almost went into the water too, lol. Hole number 11, par 3, 150 yards, pretty straightforward, bunkers on the left and water on the right. <laughs> Hole number 12 is a par 5, 489 yards with water on the right side. After the tee shot, the hole is very wide open. Of all the golf courses, I really do recommend visiting this golf course. It is the perfect middle ground in terms of difficulty for a wide range of handicaps. Whether you are a newer golfer or very experienced, you will find this golf course enjoyable. Hole number 13 is another short par 4, 330 yards. There is a water pond on the right side of the fairway up to the green, bunker on the left. Hole number 14 is another short par 4, 310 yards. The challenges here are a line of bunkers down the right side of the fairway and water wrapping around the back of the green. We got rain coming, that's why it's been so humid and it's getting a little dark and windy. Hole number 15, our second last hole, is a par 4, 347 yards, dog leg left with water down the left yeah. side. There was the cutest pack of wild dogs playing on the golf course. They typically stay away from golfers and run around for fun, just don't invoke them and you're fine. 
Yeah, that was. Uh... While we're waiting, let's enjoy this entertainment. The black dog and the one in the front, they were like fighting, playing. And finally, hole number 16 is a par 3, 132 yards, pretty wide open with some bunkers guarding the green. That's a wrap on the Vintage Club. We made it back in just in time for the rain. It started spitting on the final green there and then it just poured right as we were pulling into the clubhouse. So that's perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this golf course. It was really flat. Not the most difficult that we've played here, but definitely enjoyable to play. It's one of those golf courses where the length is perfect. You don't get you know, frustrated because there's just so many hazards and hills and stuff. So it was kind of the perfect playable and walkable golf course. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button for me. It'll push it out to other people and really help out my channel. If you haven't joined us already, hit that subscribe button. I have a lot more golf and travel content for you guys. Although this will be our final round of golf in Thailand, there will be more golf in other places. See you in the next one.